You can't sell your kidneys. I can do whatever I want with them. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. I'm not going to sell them for profit. That'd be immoral. I'm going to auction them off and give the cash to charity. Well, the Rainforest Foundation or Save the Whales. You like whales, Claire? Of course I like whales. Who doesn't like whales? It's just not the point. But think about it. People need kidneys. I have two to spare. It's the ultimate in recycling. You can't auction your kidneys off to the highest bidder. Why not? You, do you think some insurance company's better qualified to decide who needs them? This way, they'll absolutely go to whoever needs them. But it's bizarre. I know. <laughs> so what's it going to be, Simpson? Are you in or are you out? No offense, man, but every time I see you, it's bad news. There's always room for change. The fever's coming down. Looks like your body might be fighting off the infection. I thought I was done. All I could think was, how can I leave Grace out? How do I let go of her? Well, you don't have to. Thank you. I want to know something. How did you know about Grace? That this is the one? Grace is the first girl I ever met who didn't want to change me. She looked at me in all of my arrogant, stubborn, sarcastic ways, and she was like, this is who you are. I looked at her, and, and she could be a handful. And I realized that wouldn't change a thing. That's how I knew. This is the part where I refrain from lecturing you about the on-call room. <laughs> Aren't you the image of self-control? I just got back from Larry's room. Nice work, Doc. I'm sorry, but did, did hell just freeze over? <laughs> you know what? You saved his life when you diagnosed him and performed surgery. I just, I just came along and kind of cleaned up the mess. I guess we make a good team. I guess so. So? So. OK, look, I'm just going to say this. <sighs> Whether you can handle it or not. OK, give me a big shot. You're one of the most fascinating women I've ever known. You're brilliant and stubborn and sexy. And every time I come to work, I can't wait to see you. Say something. You are so not my type. You're arrogant and obnoxious, and sometimes you were just plain mean. But when you're good, like today, just it gets to me. I, I feel I feel alive and and challenged when I'm around you. Okay then. Okay then. Now what? I have no idea. <laughs> but I should warn you that I, I have a a really terrible track record when it comes to relationships. It can't be worse than mine. That I believe. OK, I might be able to get him changed and clean before he wakes up. Oh, what? 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 Dad, it's OK. Um, oh. Epiphany just has to change your bag. It won't take long. Oh, OK, Robert. Now I'm just going to uh, get up uh. in here. Now the Stone was going to be a little sensitive because you're still healing. 
Oh. Dr. Geller did a really fine job. Oh. Now you just need to clean it. Oh, please, just leave me the hell alone. Mrs. Crawford, just squeeze my hand, okay? <laughs> All right, Robert, just, just hold on. Oh. You're doing good. Oh, no. Oh. All right, we're almost finished. We're almost finished. <sighs> Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. But it doesn't have to be. Screening promotes early detection of polyps that can be removed before turning cancerous. Treatment works best, and the chance of a full recovery is very high. If you're 50 or older, talk to your doctor and get screened. Go to nccra.org for more information. Rescued me. On the next night shift. He doesn't need a doctor right now. He needs a daughter. Robin will fight to save her father. Even with all the research, I might not be able to cure you, but I can love you. An all-new General Hospital night shift. Next Tuesday night at 11 on SoapNet.